let me bring up the um the blog post so this is a blog post that that one of my coaching members wrote and I, th I think I, I want to show that to you. The link is in the description of this video, by the way. So as a data engineer, basically, what type of skills do you need here? And I, th I think he, he wrote this, uh, he wrote what is a basically data engineer, some requirements. First of all, coding skills. You need some, you need some coding skills uh, as a data engineer, of course, but it's, it's not that hard to get into. Nowadays, a lot of stuff you can do in, with Python. And Python is simple to get into and, and simple to start. So um, Sky, Java and Python um, are, I think, the most relevant. With Python, I would say surpassing Java because you can do so much stuff with, with Python and it's so easy to access. The, the learning curve is not that high. Then you need some some uh, yeah cloud skills or some 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 bigger sk some skills on on platforms I would say here um, basically AWS Azure GCP one of them would be good that you know you don't need to know in 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 detail deep down um, but it's good to to get one of of these also I would add. Uh, if you're looking for for uh, companies who are working with Hadoop, Hadoop would be one thing. It's not cloud, but it's it's a platform stuff. Um, yeah, it would be good if you if you have something like like Git. Git is very important, so that's why I'm doing this in the coaching and um, architecture patterns. At least the Lambda that you know Lambda architecture because it's it's the most um, the most important. I would say. Um, if you let me in in the comments, let me know if you would like to see something uh, from me on Lambda architecture, how that works, and and how to use that. Write a, write in the comments if I should do another live stream about Lambda architecture. Um, yeah, serverless databases a bit, uh, pipelines. That's also imp uh, interesting. Databases. SQL databases or relational databases like MySQL, very important. So if you, that's also a good, a good point of entry. If you have, let's say you want to learn data engineering and you want to start here. It's good if you know a relational database, if you have some skills in Python, more, I would say you don't really need the other stuff you can all, you can learn, but with a foundation uh, on with a foundation for with some coding and some databases you can do a lot of stuff a lot yeah and then yeah the swiss knives uh well it always uh spark it's interesting to know but it's it's uh uh it depends a bit on the job it's spark the the uh the learning curve is very high so that might take some time um patchy beam and flink are not so um so popular i think something like kafka or pub subsystems in general uh is good to is important to know and uh yeah linux skills yeah linux you are going to work a lot with <laughs> you're going to work uh, a lot with linux i guess um yeah so these are these are the the things I want to show.